Good morning. We are on I-75 heading north. It's uh, Friday, uh, 10 or October 19th. Yeah, October 19th. It's about 9:14. We've already did the uh, Route 17 and Route 40 to get to I-75 in Ocala. And we're heading north to uh, Blue Ridge, Georgia. And um, my wife's trying to kill me. She's gonna turn the heat on. No, it's creating oh. ice on the windshield. Ice. Wow. <laughs> if it was cold enough, it would be ice. <laughs> anyway, um, so we'll take you guys along with us and. Um, just another little overlay adventure. We've got about a, about a uh, nine hour drive, is that what it is? That's what it takes us. Although my son made it to, uh, to uh, what part of Tennessee? Tullahoma. Uh, Tullahoma from the land in eight and a half hours. Um, but he traveled at night, so. He traveled at night, no traffic. And uh, we'll see how this all goes. We'll see you in Georgia. Yep. It's going to be chilly. It's going to be nice. For so. those of you who have never lived in Florida. <laughs> the flatlands. You, uh, I'm sure the, the people in the, uh, the Midwest Plains can, can, uh, appreciate what we're talking about. There's something about the mountains and we're both from Maine, so we... We love and miss the mountains all the time, so going up to Blue Ridge, we get our mountain fix. Yeah, and it's like home away from home for me. Yep. And I'm sure the same thing for you. Oh yeah, just cooler weather, foliage is uh, a little more up our alley, the mountains, the roads, the ruggedness. Heck, we might even have time today, hopefully. We get up there in time, we, we gotta leave ourselves plenty of time to set up or we could just do like Coyote Works and uh, wait for the last second to set up in the dark. What do you mean Coyote Works? That's what we do. Yeah, we do Typically. it too, but he <laughs> he is always touting in true Coyote Works fashion, I'm setting up in the dark again. Right. And he always, he always anticipates uh, setting up earlier and but he gets so enthralled in his exploration, as we do, that we push it to the limit, you and wanna, then no. one little thing goes wrong, and uh, what was it in Dexter, Maine? We were setting up at 10.30 at night. Yeah. <laughs> Listening to the coyotes in the, in the uh, right. nearby woods. Yep. So anyway, um, we may even be able to go to Mercer's or Mercier's. What is the uh, orchard Apple, up there? Apple orchard. What's it? Is it Mercier's or Mercer's. Mercer's? Mercer's. I believe it's Mercer's. It's kind of a little tradition for us when we go up in the fall. We always stop there and get a, a bag of apples. I hope they, can, they have the kind I like that we used to buy in Maine. But for some reason, I guess that, that species of apple doesn't grow down here very well or down in Georgia because uh, I never can seem to find them. We'll see. No overland trip would be complete without this. South of Atlanta. Yeah, Weekend. Okay, you too, David. Careful and all. I guess I'll talk to you next week, maybe, or 
yep. see something come over maybe. All right, I appreciate it, John. Okay, babe. Thank you. Thanks. Yep. Take care. Bye. Bye. -bye. That's the guy who has been on the Lawrence Welk show. Oh, is that right? His father used to be a horn player uh -huh. for Lawrence Welk. Oh. And he was just a kid. And he actually went on and played guitar once. Really? Mm -hmm. So it's Saturday morning at 11.51, still raining. Lisa and I went into Blue Ridge and had breakfast. <clears throat> and now we're just doing a little exploring um, on an unmaintained road in the mountains, not far from where we're camping. And uh, we noticed a sign for Jones Cemetery. So we're gonna go check it out. We love looking at old cemeteries. This looks familiar. It does, doesn't it? We've been here before. I'm sure we have. We've been up through here. Okay, so we're here at uh, up in the Blue Ridge Mountains. I found a little um, road that came up to a place called Jones Cemetery. So Lisa's up there now taking some pictures of some of the stones and stuff. And they got a cute little chapel here. Benches and... Tiny pulpit. <clears throat> Pretty cool stuff. Trying to keep the camera out of the rain. See on the other side? There's a portal in a. Uh, oh, yeah, I saw that. And a set of On the other side, they go up to the mound. Oh, I thought it was like on the other side. <clears throat> Cool cemetery.
here apple cider. I got one thing to say. If we were truly uh, dispersed and on our own chainsaw, I would not be using this. As you can see, or maybe you can't see, we have company. The what, sun. I thought you said the fun. Oh, where'd the sun go? You have to make the fun. I know Ladies and gentlemen, the uh, fire danger today is low. Fish. Mm -hmm. the shrimp together is good. Mm -hmm. well, Lisa and I learned <clears throat> that if you um, got these little tiny skillets, if you heat them up, 
and use them as your plates in cold weather, the food stays nice and warm. Is Mercer's online? Like, could we order that pepper sauce from online if we wanted to? We might be able to. We bought, uh, it's called uh, Mercer's, Mercier <coughs> Orchards here in uh, Blue Ridge, Georgia. <coughs> it's a five pepper hot sauce. And uh, it's not like overpowering. But it's got a great flavor. Mm. So does my beer. I don't know what the temperature is, but it's probably in the 50s. <clears throat> that pepper sauce is certainly warming me. <laughs> it's good. I'm not a pepper sauce person, but this is good. If it is in the 50s, that wind chill is bringing it down in the 40s. <laughs> in typical fall fashion. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> Leaves fall on the table. Almost in my bowl. Windshield factor. Yep. That sauce is good. Look at this. One meal. I know. It's crazy. <laughs> Maybe we should, before we leave, we should go back and see if they have a bigger one. They do have a big one. They do? But oh. I don't think we should go back. No. Uh, yeah, let's check online, see if they were. That's if true. They, uh, <laughs>